okay guys let's talk about spermatogenesis spermatogenesis means uh, the synthesis of sperm the production of sperm in cell I mean, and how the sperm is actually generated uh, spermatogenesis uh, as the name suggests spermatogenesis genesis means the production sperm so sperm production now uh, spermatogenesis is a type uh, of gametogenesis process which involves meiosis cell division remember because you know uh, for the production of gametes because the sperm is itself is a gamete right and for the production of gamete we know gametes contain in number of chromosomes but the normal cells so or, or they are called as somatic cells somatic cells contain two number of two n number of chromosomes so it's a journey from two n number of chromosomes to n number of chromosomes and the only way of producing half number of chromosomes from the somatic cell is the process called meiosis cell division meiosis division right because the meiosis division occurs in the two phase process which is the meiotic 1 and meiotic 2 in the first meiosis division it's simply uh, there is a reduction in the chromosome number in the second meiosis division just follows like normal mitosis process right so let's talk about uh, the different stages of sperm production at the very beginning there are you know uh, mother cells from where the sperms are generated right those cells uh, are simply termed as the spermatogonial stem cells right they are called as the spermatogonial stem cells so let's begin with uh, that part here let's say this is that cell and this is spermatogonial stem cell and you know stem cells have the remarkable ability to produce all the different varieties of cells because these cells are totipotent in nature they can produce many variety of cells potential of producing multiple cells that's why they are called as pluripotent pluri means maximum plural potency potent means potency so this is the spermatogonial stem cells which also carries to a number of chromosomes now from this spermatogonial stem cells they have the mitotic division after that mitotic division it will produce a different variety of cells which are called as spermatogonium again the mother type of cells the mother cells they are called as spermatogonium so as it is a mitosis process the number of chromosome remains the same so mitosis these are called as spermato gonium spermatogonium so to a number chromosome containing cells and this type of cells not only produce spermatogonium but they can also renew their own cells because they are pluripotent in nature totipotent in nature so these are the spermatogonium cells now from the spermatogonium cells the spermatogonium cells uh, pass through another mitotic division so mitosis again because these are also pluripotent type of cells from this type of cells they also produce other cells for example primary spermatocyte this is a cell which is called as primary spermatocytes primary spermatocyte so this primary spermatocyte cell is produced from spermatogonium via mitosis process and this primary spermatocyte also consisting of to a number of chromosome because it's mitosis now up till this part the number of chromosome inside the cells are same that is 2n but after this stage it will change because uh, from this primary spermatocyte it will start the meiosis division it will pass through the meiosis 1 then meiosis 2 because this primary spermatocyte after the division will produce you know here they will produce let me slide okay after this stage they will produce they will pass through the meiosis 1 in the meiosis 1 after the meiosis 1 they will produce two cells they will produce 
two cells. So, so let me draw here. We each with n number of chromosomes because now the 2n number of chromosomes after meiosis 1 is uh, becoming n number of chromosomes and they are termed as secondary spermatocyte. Secondary spermatocyte. So these are all secondary spermatocytes. These were primary. Remember primary spermatocyte contains 2n number of chromosome, secondary spermatocyte contains n number of chromosomes. Now after this stage, the secondary spermatocyte pass through the meiosis 2 and you know meiosis 2 is nothing but the duplication of the cell normally like the mitosis. So each of those cells got duplicated, each of those cells and what they will produce here, they will produce small so let me draw it smaller yes n number chromosome contain cells they are termed as early spermatid and all of them contain n number of chromosomes and this is the example of early spermatid so let me write it here they are called as early spermatid because you know they this this Sperm production is a lot step by step process and they have different names because they have different structural features as they go on. As you all know that the actual structure, the proper structure of the sperm that we can see or imagine or draw, it's something like, it's something like this. Let me draw this for you. It is consisting of like that and something like that. For example, this is how a sperm look like, right? It has a, is a head and a collar region. This is the collar region and the tail region, right? These are the three sections. But obviously, uh, the head contains the pronucleus which has n number of chromosomes inside. So it will look something like that. So you can see here the early spermatids are no way close to that structure. So they need to go a lot more structural morphogenesis to finally reach to the uh, proper sperm structure there. And from this early spermatid, they are differentiated and they finally produce the late spermatids, the late spermatids or simply they are termed as spermatids. And from the spermatid, further modification of spermatid will lead to the production of the actual, the, the actual mature sperm, right. So this is how the whole process works and this whole process is uh, done in specialized organs, right? And actually it is uh, done in the seminiferous tubule, right? Because that is the section where all the sperms are produced, they uh, pass through this mitosis, meiosis cell divisions and also uh, they pass that, um, they get the nourishment and also they mature into the proper sperm, I mean mature sperm. So seminiferous tubule is a very important structure in our body, in all of our us, right? And for the nourishment, they require cells, specific type of cells there. They are called as Sartoli's cells because if you look at the seminiferous tubule, if you look at the cross section of uh, the seminiferous tubule, it looks something like this. Uh, so let me draw it. It looks something very close like this. And if this is the structure, you can see here that there are cells, there are different varieties of cells out there. There are also cells like this, large cells like this, then there are smaller cells like this and ulti ultimately at the end you can see uh, the sperm cells coming, they are produced, they are here like that. So the structure kind of looks like this. You can see here this is a seminiferous tubule cross section and in this structure I want you to focus on certain structures especially you can see here these are the spermatogonium containing 2n number of chromosomes. These are spermatogonium and if you look down this cross section uh, from that external side to the internal regions, you can find that at the terminal part you can have all those spermatogonium, 
uh, primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte and they are kind of uh, coming down and ultimately they produce that sperm at the bottom. So that's how the whole process works actually because the cells start to mature from this part and ultimately matured here coming at this part, right. And these cells present there, they are filled with, you know, certain materials and they are filled with materials, nutrients, these are called as Sartoli cells. So, these are called as Sartoli cells, helps in the nourishment of sperm there. So, uh, this is how the cross section looks and how the sperm actually develops there, but all the cellular processes going on inside. So, that's kind of it about the spermatogenesis guys and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.